All right, guys, it is hot. It, I'm going through great personal risk to bring you this episode, but I swear this is like the craziest episode I have ever filmed. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about crazy. How crazy is something? Well, crazy enough to want to build a bass guitar out of a terraplane hubcap. Yeah, way beyond that. Um, when I tell you something's crazy, you need to pay attention. That's kind of the equivalent of Satan coming up to you and go, Hey, dude, you need to tone it down. But it's not my fault. I come, it's it's a hereditary thing. You're, you're t looking at somebody came from a family of people who would build two-story outhouses. Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, where was I? Okay. Do you know what it's like to ride alone with me in a car? Well, I do. Of course I do. Anyway, so here's what happened. I see an advertisement on one of the social media things, and I, and I see it, and I can't believe what I'm looking at. There's a picture of some stuff, and it says that what this stuff is, it's, it's guitar templates from brands that we all know and covet from like 70 years ago. And I'm like, I gotta know what this is. There's gotta be some history here or something. So anyway, I immediately pay for the stuff and um, come the end of the day Friday. Now this is crazy. You are leaving LA to go out into the cultural capital of the world, Inland Empire and you're going to drive Friday traffic where everybody's trying to get to Vegas. It's a hundred and some degrees, 110 degrees or whatever. And I'm driving by myself in a traffic jam. And before we get into the topic at hand, I think y'all need to know what it's like and what's going through my brain when I'm running down the road in a car by myself. Let's have a look at that. Well, you don't need a link. Just keep watching. Don't give up. Keep watching. Yeah, we're coming across the desert now. And there's a place up here, believe it or not, is the first and only communist commune that I've known about in the United States called Lano. All right, there is the, there are the pillars from what used to be the community clubhouse of Lano, the communist commune right there. Are you completely and utterly disamazed yet? Here we are at Longview Road, home of the world's largest Cadillac junk dealer. Longview, yeah, there we go. When you're driving to Windemar and you're has lost its fun and you're and lazy. All right, there's the biggest tree in the area. Fine specimen of Pinus cellularis. Yeah. All right, we are at Mormon Rocks, cultural capital of the world. That's a rock. Doesn't appear to be Mormon yet. Oh, there's some missionaries. Um, this is a historic place about 170 years ago or some other number I just made up there was a historically characteristic event happened here probably for the first time at Mormon Rocks there was a traffic jam of hand carts hand cart traffic jam and some people say history is destined to repeat itself so here 170 some years later another number I just made up later we are experiencing another traffic jam yes and there's the guy that goes down the middle lane yeah don't be that guy who look in the mirror yeah a lot of build up back there are those hand cards no all right, now we are on the I-15 South, so traffic is much, much better. 
Yeah, okay then. So I was just watch out vehicle on shoulder ahead. Yeah, there's ten vehicles on shoulder ahead. Yeah, thank you for that update. So anyway, as I was saying, I got a chance to see some license plates, personalized license plates. You know, where you're driving down the road and you see a license plate and it's like is was and then three years later it hits you and you can't pull the guy over. Hey, have you ever like waved at someone like they have a flat tire and tell them to pull over because they're driving like a jerk? But then they don't really have a flat tire, so then they pull over and then you look in the mirror and it's very rewarding. Anyway, I didn't say that. I've never done that. That's a stupid idea. Anyway, I saw a plate that said well off well off w-e-l-l-o-f-f -F. and i thought you know what i should get a plate that says well on w-e-l-l-o-n because i'm certainly not well off anyway this is very exciting here oh yeah both sides California freeways are equal opportunity jammers. Alrighty then. Where do old trucks go when they die? They don't go to heaven where the angels fly. They go somewhere in Corona and die. See them again on the 4th of July. You know, I was wanted to live in Mattress, but now that I think about it, Box Springs would probably be a pretty nice place too. All right, here we are in Windemar, California, cultural capital of the world. What a fine place. I've got a couple more turns to maneuver here before we get to our destination. I need to pull over and get some Aquanet, freshen up the Elvis flip. I will see you when I see the stuff. Now, you're, you see the Texas junk pile here. The reason that I took the Texas junk pile with me and another guitar or two is because the person I was going to look at this stuff with wanted to know what it is I do with guitars. Well, lots, but <coughs> nothing significant, really. So, I got this with me, and I get off on the exit. We're going to get to the exciting stuff here in a minute. And I'm driving down the road, and I see this sign that says, Wickford farm artisan market parking lot full of cars artisan market that's a fancy word for flea market or swap meet in my world but anyway i noticed this and i've got to get to my destination so i get to my destination i film a clip and um that episode is going to be called coveters corner guitar templates because I get there. I can't believe what I'm looking at. I'm actually looking at templates, old templates. You're not pretty. Anyway, templates. Necks, old necks. Got a spike on them. Do you recognize the shape of that neck? wonder what that is. Huh, do not covet this. Then, most interestingly enough, some of these some of these templates, excuse me, look like this. Do you know what this is? Well, you're going to have to subscribe to my channel if you don't, because you're going to see it in the episode, and there will be a link right about there, right about now, to that episode, Coveter's Corner Guitar Templates. But this gave me some big clues as to why these people had this stuff and possibly how far back in history guitar building went in their family. Anyway, are we ever going to get to the story about the title of this episode, Band Crashers? Yeah, here we go. So I'm driving back from this Templates place and I am so completely and utterly dismayed that I almost forget about the artisans market so i see it i lock up the brakes not so much that all the tablets fly into the front of the vehicle and hit me and kill me i would have died happy if that would have happened but anyway 
So I go careening off in there into the gravel parking lot. I take my spot and um, I go through there and they got all kinds of cool stuff. They have everything you could want but never need. And I hear a band. So I go back in the back and there is a band and they have a guitar case not like that one up on the wall up there that says restaurant on it. D don't cover that. Can you see it up there? Right up there? Yeah, I kind of partially concealed it so you wouldn't cover it too much. Anyway, so I pull in there and I go in the back and there's a band playing. And I get this brilliant idea. Have you ever seen that movie Wedding Crashers? And I think there was supposed to be a sequel called Funeral Crashers where... I don't want to get into all that. I'm a God-fearing person. Anyway, you all can watch those R-rated movies because I sure won't. Anyway, so it hits me. What if I get the Texas junk pile out and at the break of this band, and I got another guitar with me, the California junk pile, I just walk up off the street and tell them I got a couple guitars here I dare you to play them because face it there's a lot of prima donnas out there you got to have a $35,000 guitar it had to be set up by Fred Willacki or somebody like that before they'll even look at it but real musicians can take a shoestring on a rock and make it work somehow so I'm kind of going on that preface and I'm wondering what's going to happen. They ain't never seen me. They don't know who I am. I got a cool t-shirt. Of course I do. Look, it's, it's a cool t-shirt. And some of you people that have sent me uh, Coveter's Corner episodes, you get one of these. So think about that. Anyway, so I go up there. I troll them out good. I lay the guitars out there and I do the setup like, like my grandpa would do with the two-story outhouse. Hey, this is so cool that you can't even see it. And uh, I said, if you open up the case, you got to play it. So what happened after that is utterly amazing because not only did they pick it up, they played it and they did songs there. I don't know whether these people used to be in Earth, Wind and Fire or uh, Fleetwood Mac or whatever, but they were coming on the stage one by one. I thought I was at Hamilton or some Broadway production or something. Anyway, they did good. I want you to watch them. Their band was called Reason 54. Reason 54. I thought, why Reason 54? And then it hit me. The other 53 were taken. Anyway, let's look at some footage of Reason 54 warming up a little bit and then going into full-blown orchestral productions with the Texas junk pile. Let's go. Nice to, it's nice to be here at Wicker Farms, especially because some some certain reasons, especially particularly this this case. Um, I have an original song to do, but before I get to that, I wanted to say that this man comes down from the hay bales over here to the left and bestows his beautiful guitars. Look at this thing. I just want to show it to you. Look at that. And. Uh, he said I could have this one for free, so that's great. <laughs> but uh, no, it's it's a beautiful thing, and and uh, I also wanted to say this about the song I'm going to play right now because I wanted to get out there to all you, all you people out there. But it's a beautiful song about a beautiful man who passed and is gone. Help me write the song before he passed. It's called The Other Side, and I'm playing on a beautiful instrument, so...
you don't think that was awesome then you don't need to get out of here the rest of y'all give me a like or give reason 54 there's 53 other reasons why you should give me a like but give me a like for this episode and make your comments um thanks to my friends in the band reason 54 y'all did great and uh 
I want you to watch for the episode about the templates. Don't forget about the templates. Um, yeah, because once you see that episode, it's, it's not going to take one person praying for you. It's going to take a whole church. In fact, a whole denomination. Den, denomin, denomin, denomination to pray for you and your covetous nature once you see that. Anyway, I'll give you a link to it right up there in case you... You know, you're late and watching my episodes like three and five years later. I can't believe that, but I, I guess you got to start somewhere. Anyway, I'll give you a link to it right up there right about now. See you later.